rest of his life in jail, is fighting for his freedom. He says that he's behind bars in a bum murder rap and that DNA testing could set him free. But a piece of evidence that the smoking gun could clear him is gone. Our I team's Barbara Nevins Taylor has the story. <laughs> You can call me a murderer. You can call me whatever you want. But it doesn't make it true. But Ronald Long was convicted of murder, shooting, and robbery in 1985. His death sentence overturned. He's still got to serve at least 30 years. I'm still in prison for something that I didn't do. And that's my reality. And that's my nightmare every day. I live this nightmare. Now, can a cigarette butt found at a crime scene in the 80s prove that Ronald Long is innocent? Long believes that new DNA testing on that cigarette butt found right here at this Atlantic City gas station will prove that he didn't kill or shoot anyone. But New Jersey law enforcement officials say that cigarette butt is lost. It's excuse me. Any kind of way you want to put it, it's excuse me. We lost the evidence, so therefore you can't be, give the DNA testing. The verdict stays the same. You stay in prison. Ronald Long is a jailhouse lawyer who has helped others. I've gotten several murder convictions over time. I've gotten people out of prison who serve life sentences. His own case is frustrating. You know for a fact, especially, especially Channel 9, that's a lot of people in jail that didn't do it. Let's go to the back streets of Atlantic City, 1982. Ronald Long, honorably discharged from the Marines, is hanging around. He's waiting to go out on a ship as a merchant seaman. December 11th, an apartment robbery, a man shot in the head. An hour later, a liquor store, the manager is murdered. A few hours later, a gas station robbery, an attendant is shot. 25 caliber bullets used in all the shootings. A gun is never found, but on the street, cops are told Ronald Long has a 25 caliber pistol. The police came looking for me, and they said that I shot somebody. What happened to your gun? I got rid of it. Why? So, because we bought guns and sold guns all the time, so it was really not a big deal. The gas station clerk didn't pick Long as the shooter. They threw the gas station crime out after I wasn't identified in three separate lineups. The victim in the apartment shooting first named another guy as the shooter. He told him that it wasn't me. Then they got him to change his story and say it was me. And at the liquor store... There was an eyewitness to the murder scene in the period. The prosecutor had the eyewitness hypnotized and given amnesiac instructions to forget everything. In the county jail, prosecutors offered a deal. So I'm not taking a deal because I didn't do it. Prosecutors did make a deal with a jailhouse snitch, Paul Pettigrew. You see him here on undercover video, and we'll tell you more about this video in a minute. He was a star witness against me. He said I told him that me and my cousin did the crime. In recent years, private investigator Maria Palumbo took up Long's case. I believe that he uh, received an unfair trial. So in 2001, she talked to Pettigrew. He signed a statement explaining that he had tried to recant or take back what he told the prosecutor. He stated his remorse of that he had lied about Ronald Long. Recently, Pettigrew told me he would only talk about the case for money. We said no, but we still wanted to get to the truth. So we sent our I-team producer with an undercover camera to sit down with Pettigrew. Did you, even though you knew Ronald Long wasn't involved in that crime, did you say something that might hurt Ronald Long because the prosecutor was putting pressure on him? Yep. And that's why later on, years later, you tried to recant when, that, when you wrote that statement down. Yeah. So why didn't he go through with it and tell the truth? I had knew Rosenfeld, who was a prosecutor on that case. And he, um, you know, informed me that, you know, if I do, that means that my part of the case of the bargain would have to be reopened. Remember, the gun was never found. The only physical evidence was the cigarette butt. At trial, a cop testified it was a Newport. I testified, and they made a big deal of me smoking Newports. Another police officer testified no saliva was found on the cigarette butt, but he also said he never saw a lab report. The lab report didn't turn up until 2004, in the middle of Ronald Long's appeals to get DNA testing based on the newest methods. Here's a state crime lab report, right. and it says that the cigarette butt is not examined. Right. And then there's another notation, notation at the bottom. No blood substances were discovered. Even more confusing, two different analyst signatures are on the report. 
One says the cigarette butt wasn't examined, and the other says no blood substances were detected. The reason she says nothing was detected on it is because it was not examined. It's not examined then, let's examine it now. But the Atlanta County prosecutor told the court the cigarette butt is lost. I got the death penalty, so it's not like some jaywalking case. I got the death penalty, and they took over 20 years of my life. They better have that cigarette butt, and somebody should be made to look for it. Pursuing the cigarette butt is not at all uh, going to solve the case. Stephen Rosenfeld was the prosecutor who brought Long to trial. He says even if a cigarette butt was found and tested, and there was no link to Long, it would only prove he wasn't at the gas station shooting. I disagree with the premise that he would be exonerated from all three shootings. I think that it is inexcusable for the state to say that they simply just lost evidence. We brought Ronald Long's case to the attention of lawyer Vanessa Potkin at the Innocence Project, which appeals cases on the basis of DNA testing. For people like Ronald Long, it is a matter of whether an innocent man will ever uh, taste freedom again or whether he potentially will die in prison. So far, all of Ronald Long's appeals for DNA testing have been denied. Why should anybody care about your case? I don't want anybody to have sympathy for me. I want them to want the same for me as they would want for themselves and also what they would want for their own families. Tonight, New Jersey Governor Richard Cody's office tells me the governor is considering Long's appeal for clemency. I'm Barbara Nevins Taylor, UPN 9 I team. Still ahead, why a little girl's parents had to break into her daycare center.